All right, let's do this. Let's do this, y'all. Guide. Anyways, all right, so let's get on with the vlog. To introduce myself, my name is Gigi. This is my official YouTube channel and my first video ever. Represent, okay, I'm so excited. This shirt makes me feel so proud of myself because this process of ASVAB, taking tests, physical, like maps, everything was super exhausting for me. So I'm just like, I have my shirt and I'm so, so happy and proud of myself. All right, so I just wanna share with you guys in less than five minutes the things that I found most helpful to me when studying for my ASVAB, super last minute. I originally thought I had a month to study, turns out I had less than a week. So your girl was putting in the work day and night studying. So first of all, take your online practice test. I took one with my recruiter. I'm sure your recruiter will take one with you as well. I did terrible in that one, but again, that one wasn't... Go take your own online. There's plenty online. You will find some. If you really want a link to it, I'll give it to you. Just ask. There's online practice ASVABs that you can take to help assess yourself. Know which areas you're struggling um, and don't be intimidated by what you find. Knowing your weak points is helpful. Don't despise small beginnings. That's where the that's where you need to work on anyways. Depending on your MOS, maybe you might need to focus on some other subjects. Um, but if you know the job you're going for, you should know the score that is required to get into that job because you can set yourself a goal and really study hard on the subjects that you need to excel in. Um, I feel like I said that all backwards. Let me say that again. Run that back. Run that track back. Figure out your MOS and what the requirements of that MOS is. AskFabForDummies.com. Their website actually lists all the score requirements needed. For example, I really wanted an Intel job. It requires a GT general tech score of 110. Um, and that's, there's different, there's a list of different scores that you get when you get in your piece of paper after the ASVAB. It'll give you a list of all your scores. Your general tech score needs to be 110 for intelligence role. Anyways, moving on. Focus on your math and your reading, which is word knowledge. Okay, because those are the two strongest subjects that really influence your general tech score. And your general tech score is so important because it's the... It's like the key that opens all the doors. It opens the most jobs. I will share with you guys a list of all the subjects that are presented within the ASVAB math portion of the test. Um, it helped me a lot because when I was studying day and night, I was focusing on each one of those subjects. Um, not each one, but like I checked off like three subjects every day, every night, um, just studying them. And I'm not gonna lie, some days went really smoothly, some days I hit roadblocks and really struggled with a certain math subject. But at least I felt accomplished each day if I learned two out of the three or you know, um, sometimes I would put to rest one math subject, pick up another one and, and come back to it the next day. Yeah, I kind of set up a game plan for math and Khan Academy really helped me execute that. So I'll share that with you guys in the description box. Um, and regarding word knowledge and things like that, I'm pretty good with my English. Um, not amazing or anything, but like I was pretty confident that would be okay. Just to brush up on my word knowledge, I downloaded a vocab app. There's a bunch of games on iTunes or whatever phone you have. Just download all the word apps you know, pick the best one, delete all the other ones, and just play that one every day. Um, it's actually really entertaining. I use that a lot in my dull moments of the day where I wasn't doing anything. You can learn 300 to 500 words a day, and still none of those words will end up on the ASVAB test. So um, a good tactic was to study your prefixes and suffixes, because if you know those, you can kind of get an idea of what a word means. Um, so do that, that's good. Download Quizlet, download a vocab word, game, whatever. You'll be fine, you'll do good. ASVAB for Dummies was a really good app because there are practice tests that I took on there that were really helpful. ASVAB for Dummies book version is what's mostly recommended, I think, by recruiters. I heard of, that book came up a lot of times um, when it came to studying for the ASVAB. I heard some people didn't like it, but I really did like the app. It helps me track my progress. Um, there is a free trial version of it, but you obviously don't get access to everything, so I paid $8 for the monthly trial, but obviously I only had like a week to study, so I only paid $8 once, and I canceled my subscription after that, so 
not a bad investment. That's probably the only thing I paid for when studying for my ASVAB was the $8 subscription to ASVAB for dummies. So go spend that $8, y'all. All right. I'm not good at tests. I was not good at math. And at the end of the day, I did all these things and I scored a 76. My goal was 80, but I was satisfied with my set, my score of 76 just because I really thought I did so terribly in the ASVAB. Um, I was so stressed out when I took it. Um, the lady would not stop talking to me and making me feel bad for the red flashing screen coming up all the time. If you guys don't know, the ASVAB is timed. Yes, you have three hours, but each section is timed and you have like two minutes per question. Um, and anytime you go, if you take too long on a question, a red flashing screen will come up. The proctor has to come up and remove the red screen. Um, and I think if it happens five or six times and you get kicked out of the room. Um, until to come back and take the ASVAB another day. So I had the red flashing screen come up three times. Homegirl was stressed and the exam proctor had no problem in shaming me in front of everybody. She was just like, um, you again? And I'm just like, like, I already want to kill myself. Now you're making me want to kill you. Like, get out of my face. Like, I'm taking a test. And that, that was not the first time she talked to me or the second time or the third time. She talked to, to me like, throughout the rest of the test and I was so frustrated. I felt like she was like singling me out in front of the entire room. Um, so on top of me being a, like a stressful test taker, she was just like talking to me during my test and fully knowing that this is a timed test. My career is reliant on how well I do on this test and you're talking to me? Girl. Anyways, she was really sweet in the end of it all, but I just, I didn't need her um, on my back. Anyways, so I thought I did really, really bad. I thought I got anywhere from a 40 to a 60 on my ASVAB and like in the middle of it because I was not doing really well. Honestly, I was so exhausted from the waiting. Um, it, it took me two days to take the ASVAB. It's a whole nother story. I'll go in detail maybe in another video if you guys want to hear the story of my ASVAB. Um, but just for informative purposes only, I'm telling you what was helpful to me um, and what was not helpful for me. Um, I didn't really eat, so make sure you eat really, really well in the morning of because I didn't eat and I was starving and hangry and halfway through the test I just started like winging out answers. Like after I got over my fear of math um, and my English was done already, the rest I was just like winging out the answers and I really thought I did terribly because I just wanted to leave the room. The lady was pissing me off. I like everybody was leaving the room by the way and it was down to two people me myself and some other gentleman and I was like oh hell no I'm not about to be the last person in this room like it's getting me a heart attack like I'm gonna have like a full-on panic attack in the room so I'm just gonna be like stuck with this woman here like no not gonna happen so I'm like <laughs> cooking away all the answers I'm like you look like the best one yeah so I just like winked out all the answers got myself out of the room as fast as I could and I got handed that piece of paper and I genuinely thought I got anywhere from 40 to 60 but I was like it's gonna be okay GG because Marines only requires you 31 to pass so at least you're not dumb at least you you like you know somewhere within the 40 to 60 range it could be anywhere and when I opened up that piece of paper and I saw the 76 I was like well damn like I'm not that dumb <laughs> so well anyways um yeah like I said I was like less than a week I think I probably only studied three to four days like to be honest like there was like two days I took a break in between all that so I put in the work but I tried not to stress myself out too and just kind of trust myself because the ASVAB isn't a pass or fail test it's just to kind of assess where your knowledge is what your strong points are so you get the proper job you know you want to get a job that's that that fits you and that you're fit to serve in in the military so you don't want to like step so far out of reach that you're you're stretching yourself too thin you know like you're gonna end up being an intel job and that's actually not what you're good at like you don't want to cut yourself sell yourself short i definitely know this is not five minutes long but hopefully it's as quick as i could possibly make it when i discovered how exhausting maps would be i'm so glad it didn't come like back to back like that was heaven sent so yeah aswap went better than i expected um i hope that this video gives you somewhat of an idea of what to take on when studying for it again to each its own go with your gut don't go into the ASVAB like I did feel confident that you studied don't feel pressured by your recruiter if your recruiter is pressuring you to take the test and you don't feel like you're ready don't do it like just don't do it because you're like taking the test you already have enough nerves if you take the test 
and you know for a fact you didn't study or like you know you're not prepared for it to take it then don't do it like you want to at least feel prepared you're not going to know everything just feel prepared even if you just come to a decision like i did where it was just like whatever the score is let it be let it be because i'm getting assessed again it's not a pass or fail test you guys it's just going to assess where your knowledge is so don't be scared but obviously if you're ambitious and there is an mos that you're really shooting for then work for it like earn it and if you do fail your asvab like don't be ashamed if maybe you're watching this and you're taking your asvab for the second time like keep that motivation going don't despise small beginnings like you're taking a step closer to where you need to be don't give up now um just use your failures as a way to um to learn and to grow <laughs> okay let me just say that part again because that was interesting all right I'm only a few steps into my journey of becoming a marine. I'm still a poolie. I swore in a few days ago, but I want to document the season of my life and hopefully take you all on for the journey and hopefully motivate some females out there who are considering joining the marines or the military. Excuse you. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully um, I can create a small community in here where you can feel comfortable to ask me questions. Um, I feel inspired and just know you're not alone recording videos is so incredibly awkward I'm not sure that I'm doing this well but I hope that I get better over time that's a wrap <laughs>